Hi, it's Kylie Koo. I've just finished working on another project. I have some paints left over and I thought, well, now's a good time just to use those up doing another of my Take 5. I'm going to do this in real time just so that you can actually see that, uh, you know, even in terms of pulling all the materials out, it doesn't take me long. So I'll just put this to music and I shall get going. Hope you enjoy. So from start to finish, this took me about 10 minutes. That included drying time and a bit of faffing around time when I, despite saying that I have everything to hand, I did have to wander off for the glue and then I had to wander off for the scissors. But overall, 10 minutes, maybe 10 and a half minutes, absolute maximum. So I think that's not bad. Now, I just wanted to mention a few of you have said in the comments that uh, you know you'd be quite interested in doing one of these pages you're thinking about doing it so please if you do decide to do that then then let me know uh, you know I'd love to hear from you on that one person that's done that already is Helen Fraser and I'm going to leave a link to Helen's channel above now I think this is Helen's first video that she's put up so please do show her a little bit of YouTube community love and go across and check out her take five page She's not going through the process of, of completing it on this occasion, but what she does is she talks about uh, how, how she went about it and you see her final page. So please do check that out and thanks Helen for, for letting me know that you've done that. So here I am. I went to put on some paints from my palette and actually there was a lot of paint still on my paintbrush from my previous project. So I just started by putting that down and then lifted some of the paint from the palette as well and just added a little bit of ink there so this is all real time i'm just drying it now i hadn't put paper in between the pages which i usually try to do so there's probably some color going off onto the others but it doesn't matter i've still got more work to do on each of the pages when it comes to the free play So that's dry enough to go on to the next layer. And that was me. I had, I had to wander off to get the glue, but I got it now. And I've got my little, what I call my scraps box, just all the little bits and pieces of paper that go in there from other projects. You know, and when I watch this back, I don't look as if I'm particularly rushing. I'm moving along at a pace, but, you know, it's not that I'm rushing so fast that I can't enjoy it, so... Obviously I've got 20 pages to do in total, so I'm a bit into it now, but uh, let me know if you do want to see me doing all 20 pages, or if you'd rather I just came back and, and let you see the, you know, kind of flip through of, of the final book at the end. I'm, I'm happy to keep making the videos if, if you'd like to see them, but, you know, as I say, if, if you think it's getting too samey, then please do let me know. So that piece just wasn't sticking too well, so I just decided to take a couple of seconds just to, to make sure it's, it is stuck down. And now just pulled out my box that I have those little bits and pieces that I use for stamps and stencils. And that old yoghurt pot is one of my favourites. I just like the way that uh, every time I stamp it comes out slightly different, but uh, overall I think it's quite a good, gives a good effect. Thank you. 
and just using up the excess paint that was still left on that there. And again a quick dry. I keep saying I'm going to buy myself a heat gun but that old hair dryer seems to work just as well so it's fit for purpose so that will do me meantime. So I just quickly pulled an image there and uh, I see there's some words lying too. I decided I wouldn't tear the image, or sorry I wouldn't cut it with scissors, I would just tear around it roughly. I often think with mixed media that it's quite nice if the edges are kind of rough like that. I think sometimes you can then blend them in better. I think the first time I used that glue I said I wasn't very keen on it, but now I seem to be using it all the time, especially for collage of this sort. Now that's multitasking, drying with one hand and rolling back the glue and putting the lid on with the other. I had got some white paint onto the image but you know it really doesn't matter. I think it just picked just a bit that hadn't been fully dry and it just picked up on my hand and had just dragged it over the image but you know it's okay. So this is a point where I've gone off to look for the scissors. And that's just a Stabilo oil pen again. I think in the last video I gave it the wrong name. I think I called it the Stabilo to begin with and then the Aquarelle. I think I maybe called it but I think the other name that's written on it is Aquarellable. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's not exactly easy to say or at least I don't find it easy to say. So Stabilo all is easier.
And that's it, time up. So as I say, the whole thing, including drying, only around 10 minutes, so I'm really quite pleased that I was able to do it in that length of time. I did start to doubt myself that uh, it was such a quick process, but it is. So thanks very much for joining me, and please check out Helen Fraser's channel. Bye for now.